Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it might be for you, and welcome back to the Project Zomboid playthrough, The Perils of Perry. If you remember, we got back to the crib, we got some sleep, 7.40 in the morning. Pretty sure we've eaten everything in the inventory. I gave up in the end and ate the sausages. So let's start as we mean to go on, fill up the bowl. Can we? Did we run out of water already? Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can use the toilet water. He's got the constitution of an ox. And also, let's have a quick recap where we looted. We found the car. I want to clear this out. I want to check out this junction. See if we've got a clear route or try and make a clear route up to these buildings, which I believe is a medical and a supermarket of sorts. So that's the plan. We're going to need to take some food with us. And look at that. Boredom sets in. Getting bored before you've even left the house. We'll get rid of that now. Read a little book. Start the morning off with a little mental stimulation. I'll tell you what we could do. We could take the freshly cooked salmon with us, couldn't we? If we get peckish on the way. Let's get into creep mode. Let's get the hammer out. Because we don't know what's happened overnight. We might have drawn in some visitors. Doesn't look like it. First glance. Oh, there's still a few over there. Can we sneak past them? Do we have to get involved this early in the morning? Just about 8.30. Let's try and... We didn't... Tr we didn't didn't draw any attention so let's get up to this house I believe it's this one that we haven't looted opposite the one with the car but what is going to be awaiting us there who knows should we creep through the bushes I know I said I wouldn't do this and I'm doing it a lot <laughs> we don't want to get inside the building and then have Perry surrounded by Zeds trying to break in that were lurking in the bushes, in the trees, in the yard. Perry with his shopping bag and his hard hat, like a pound shop Bob the Builder. Scanning. Nice driveway. Ooh, look what I can see. An occupant. A wide sweep perimeter of the house gives us the knowledge what we might be facing oh my god the door's open okay they've got their back to us let's make this quick Take a comic book for boredom. Farming one? I'm not sure we've got tailoring one. I don't think we've got farming one. A couple of tinkle on the ivories. Maybe get something going on the old Joanna. Turn the TV off. Let's have a bit of silence, shall we? Marmalade and peanut butter. Yes, please. We could make a sandwich, but I'm just going to take the condiments for now. can hear a zombie I'm pretty sure shit is it upstairs is it in this cupboard got some good food on us I'm gonna take the jerky oh my god are they in this cupboard oh look at all this fresh food gotta take a beer can't can't go past the beer. I mean, Perry's got that Irish blood. Are they upstairs lurking? What else was on here? Oh yeah, that's where we found the condiments. Let's brave it. I can hear them. 
They're not banging the doors. Are they just lurking in the corridor? Oh, wow, this is scary. I hope this wasn't a party house. Oh, here we go. This door behind us here, look. Get down. Stay down. Search the drawers. You never know. Hungry already. Might have to hit that fridge on the way out. It was packed. Nothing tremendous. Bathroom? Any supplies? Painkillers again. Wonderful. And an adhesive bandage. Score. Cupboard. Some rope. Alright. Now while we're upstairs, I never like saying we're relatively safe, but I suppose we are. We'll cross the house off. We've we've given it a good sweep. Let's get some food. While the front door is open, we want to get out of here ASAP. Let's fill up our water bottle before we leave. And let's have a little munch. Let's go for an apple. One of the five a day pez. And I tell you what should fill us nicely, a cabbage. Fresh cabbage. I took the beef jerky, I took a beer, so that's food of sorts that we can use to keep him sustained. Now let's go for this junction. Let's see what we're dealing with before we can approach the medical. I mean, that, that's, that goes without saying. It speaks for itself what we could find in that medical. Doctor's surgery. It could be all the meds and bandages, etc., that we'll need going forward for a long, long time. Until we find out how Perry died. And when. But I'm creeping. I can see a zombie here, too. Is that three? One up there. Oh, quite a few. Okay, we've got four here. Five. We need to get their attention. And that's exactly what we've got. We can back ourselves down this street that we know, hope, is relatively clear behind us. We haven't got beta blockers that would get rid of the panic you see setting in in the top right corner. I don't like the way they're approaching at different angles. There we go, one's gone down straight away. Give this one the business while he's on his feet. There you go. And this one should be pretty easy. Nothing we want. Oh, look at this. We've drawn this one in. We'll stay in our street, stay in our lane, literally. Will Smith's looking rough. There we go. That's for Chris Rock. Louisville map. Don't think we need it. Tell you what I'm looking at there. A trash can, a bin, should have a garbage bag in it, which will give us more capacity than this plastic bag that's only got, if you like, eight slots. So again, let's bring green sneakers onto us. In isolation, we should be fine. Should be in the keyword. Look at that. Down he goes. Oh, we just, we just cleaned these these shoes and what are we looking at now we know there was more than one oh look at this the doctors the doctors are on strike what is this the NHS so we can see the medical we've got eyes we've got people hanging around Ooh, another vehicle so again we want to pull off the Noah's Ark move if we can two by two yeah I'm looking at you even better. One comes in. Come on then, shipman. Let's have it. Straight down. There you go. Go to town on shipman. Oh, there's a nice little group there. There is a nice little group around the medical. 
looks like the second doctor is coming in. I'm still aware of the one that was creeping around this area. Don't want, haven't forgot about them. I'm, I'm still watching my back before I engage. Make sure no one's creeping. Give them the business. Give them the, give them the river dance. Now this group has gone away from the building. There's the garbage bag. I'm just taking it for now. I'm not sorting it out. I can see at least six. We shouldn't be in danger of being overtired, though, even if we have to deal with all of these. I just do not want to deal with them in one swoop. Here we go. Start pulling them over. Starting with green shirt. Still watching my back. We don't know what's up that alleyway to our right. We know one was lingering by the fence. And we're close enough to this group now that we might bring them over just by stamping, making this noise. One down. Oh, they love that car. I wonder if one of them was the previous owner. It's another purple car. I think we've got one att one one's attention. No? They saw what happened to their mate. I don't want to go in that medical without dealing with these. Oh, look, there's another group at the top of the street as well. We don't want to fight these in earshot of the others. Here we go. We've got one's attention. Let's pull them away. Around the lamppost you come. Give them the business. Now, weren't his socks dirty? <laughs> no, they're not dirty. Okay. Sorry, Perry. Cast Casting dispersions on your hygiene there. Here we go. Catch the attention of this one. Watch our back. Oh my god, we've got a few of them. Oh yeah, here we go. Roll up, roll up. Oh no, bitten. Potentially, potentially bitten. Bleeding. Don't let it be this way. Bitten! Don't think the disinfectant is going to do it. Bitten on the neck. In considerable pain. Critical damage. Don't let it be this way, Perry. Do not let it be this way. You've got painkillers. Take them. What a mistake. Criminal mistake. Severe injuries. Oh, nothing we can do. We've bandaged the neck up. Is it a guaranteed turn? Are we going to get zombified regardless of whether we can recover? Always have a smoke in these situations. At least get rid of the anxious Moodle at the top right. Maybe. We're just left with the severe injuries now. That's great. The leather jacket is bloody. So I believe we should swap that out. This, all, this may all be too little too late. I'm well aware. But our boy Perry goes out on his own terms. And he goes out fighting. I did tell you this is how he died. I didn't tell you when he would. Because of course we didn't know. But in terms of going forward, if we keep an eye on what happened to Perry, maybe our next protagonist can do a lot better. Maybe this is just one character's story. One of many. In a series. Maybe it doesn't all become just about Perry. He's just part one, act one, if you like. Uh, 
Have a drink, son, and I think you might want to wash up. You've had a real bad experience there. Into the surgery. Exactly what I thought. Look at this. My god, the antidepressants we need. We needed them beta blockers before. While we were getting panicked. But this is all knowledge. When we've... Oh, there's the scissors we need. We can go out at least with a new trim. When it happens. It probably is going to happen. More beta blockers. More bandages. More alcoholic wipes. All the good stuff I knew would be in here. First aid volume three. Alright, while we're in this closet, pause. Let's drop this on the floor. Garbage bag, equip in our hand. Capacity is 20. So now, let me drag all this over. We can carry a lot more. We can, for example, pick up whatever we found on the way here. We're in pain. Take pills. Our boy is hungry. Eat that beef jerky. And to be honest, I think after all that, he deserves a beer. Get it down, you Perry. Get rid of your empties, though. Your painkillers across there and transfer the rest of your loot into your garbage bag. If we can clear upstairs, we may even give our guy a trim upstairs. Um, more painkillers than you can shake a leg at. Beta blockers. He's going to be out of his mind on drugs anyway, whatever happens for the rest of this story. Perry's story. Look, bandages, more wipes. Doctor's ready to see you now. Doc, help me. I've been bit. What am I going to do? We're going to take off the dirty bandage. To start us, son. We're going to disinfect it again. We're going to do things by the book. We're going to bandage yourself. Stop the bleeding. The critical damage <laughs> is still there. Severe injuries. Our fighting prowess is going to be hugely affected, I would think. So let's get upstairs where I hope we're alone. And we can assess things a bit more, maybe freshen up. We've got some living quarters, like a staff room. Oh my god, there's one out the back. Let's shut them curtains for starters. Look at this. Food. Oh. Lots of good stuff here. What a shame. It went so wrong out the front, Perry. This was the jackpot. There was even sleeping quarters here. Another bathroom. More beta blockers. <laughs> He's getting tired. Well, I'm not surprised after what's happened to him today. Let's have a look at the situation we're in. It's not great. The slow turn could be about to become a reality. The baggy jeans need washing. Let's take a bit of pride in your appearance still, Perry. Regardless of what's happened. Your hard hat. Needs washing. You're in pain again. Don't be afraid to take the pills. The leather jacket we knew was bloodied when we put it on. Oh, we're running out of water there. Wash your jacket. Super tired. We're going to have to... Have a little sleep here. The long gloves. Need washing. I was hoping to find some surgical ones downstairs. Wasn't wasn't the case. Okay. Anxious. On edge. Will a cigarette get rid of that? Or is that the anxiety creeping in from being bitten? Potentially. 
the boredom, the pain. Look at the look at the moodles. He's popping painkillers. Who is this? Michael Jackson? Didn't we have... Yeah, we had a comic book. Read it. Try and take your mind off it, Perry. Okay. You hungry, boy? Okay. Let's get you some food. Let's get you a can of tuna open. The good stuff. Get it down, you. You're really tired. You need to sleep. We're going to give him a little sleep. Put the empty in there. Get him into this bedroom. Jacket, long skirt. Close the curtains. Sleep. It's been a bad day, Perry. Very, very bad day. We want this one behind us. Is this how you died, Perry? You've woken up in pain. You've woken up queasy. What could that queasiness represent? You know he's going to start the day with more pills. Might as well keep them in the top pocket now. Let's start the day with a cigarette. This could be the last dance. So we're going to do it in as much comfort as possible. Keep our boy as comfortable as possible. A nice orange for an early breakfast. It's only 5 a.m. It's a little over encumbered. Just to be pedantic and pretty anal about it. We'll cross off the medical sensor. We won't forget it, though. Perry's not going to forget where it happened. It was all for this car as well that he was taking so many chances. So it would be rude not to check it out. Of course it's locked. Of course none of those bozos had a key, did they? 5.20 a.m. Not feeling great. Bandage is dirty again. We shouldn't be doing this in the outdoors, but... We're keeping it as clean as possible, the wound. Shouldn't be littering, but we've got bigger problems. What we do want to do is check if this zombie has got a key that car. He's feeling a bit more blasé about fighting now when you're already bit and what else can go wrong? Still no key. Still no hope that we could at least take a vehicle and drive ourselves into a brick wall, end things on our terms. Perry struggles on. The zombies have absolutely no sympathy for his plight or his situation. Now he feels an anger building inside him. That these demons are perhaps going to make it so that he can't leave this world on his terms. You're not going to get another chunk of me. You're going to have to pay for your second meal. Let me go. Let me send you to hell. Where you belong. Piece of shit. In this short time that we've been in Muldra, we have something that resembles a home. A home of sorts. Even after taking a painkiller, we're in minor pain. The queasiness sits there as a reminder to what happened. 
outside, ironically, the doctor's surgery. We need to head back home and clean up. It's only 6.20. There's still a bit more exploring to do. Maybe if we just clear the surrounding area as much as possible. Before this hideous disease takes hold of us. We'd have done a service to any other survivors that are out there in the vicinity. That we maybe don't know about. Get in the house, Perry. We promised you a haircut. We promised you you'd go out on your own terms. Bit of TV. Never hurt anyone when they were dying of a zombie virus. Farming and first aid. Somebody else might come along to these houses and find all this stuff one day. If we can set someone up to have a better chance than what we had. Bandaged still. Mullet. Buzz cut. There you go. There you go. We're going out on our own terms, Perry. I told you. We took our hats off, did we? Put it back on, son. Did you have anything else there that... Why has he got... These are scissors in his hand now, aren't they? Yeah. Put them back in the bag. Has he got any other books? We could leave on the shelf. No. But we can leave... Stuff like the battery. I know we've got the marmalade and peanut butter on us. Tons of painkillers, but we are going through them, aren't we? Salmon. Sterilized rags still. We've still got water here, which is good. We can't be too selfish about this, Perry. Like I say, somebody else might come along after you. Stumble across this property. Why not leave it in good shape? For that person, whoever they may be. Let's move the items here into the second drawer. And let's not go ham on the painkillers. Let's leave something behind for somebody else, like I say. Alcoholic wipes. We're not going to need them all. Put them in there. Put them in the drawer. Maybe for somebody else. Antibiotics I feel we need to take. I don't think they're going to do anything, but we'll take them. And I think we're way past antidepressants. Bandages, duct tape. Obviously the painkillers will keep on us. The scissors can go away. We'll keep the alcoholic wipes there. He's in pain. So we know what we've got to do. We've got to take more painkillers. We want to keep on top of this, Perry. Keep you as comfortable as possible. With your queasiness. You've got a bit of a sweat on. Which again. Is not a great sign. Have yourself a little wash. Be a little bit more comfortable. And then maybe. In a heroic. Unselfish way. We can try and clear out the supermarket. Like I say. Maybe for anybody who's coming. Behind our boy. When the inevitable happens, I'm pretty sure we can't get around the fact we've been bitten on the neck and our time is nigh. But we promised to show you how Perry died. He ain't quite dead yet. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next part. It has been very emotional today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.